Hey guys, this is Sam from fightforex.info. Uh, I'm making this video to show our new FX reports software and how it works. But the main focus of this video is to show you how the software essentially can read trading activity or trading history from any MetaTrader 4 account uh, from any broker as long as you know the account number and the investor password so you need to have at least the investor password for the software to work okay but other than that you don't need anything so let me demonstrate this um, how this works right so as you can see in the software create an admin account the admin creates what is called a program like let's say FTMO or some kind of prop firm or some program where they add members and one member can have any number of MT4 accounts and this is the basic setup but the beauty of this is you can focus on running your program the software does the back office operations and reads the trading history and, and displays that on the website right so I'm going to demonstrate how this works so let's say that I am an admin and I created a program the first step I do is I actually create an admin account right but since I've already created the account and logged in I'll just show you how it works from the members area and then first thing I do is add a new user so let's say I'm adding for my test program, my user ID, I'm giving this user is this, uh, let's say it is um, blah, blah, blah. Um, password is welcome one and the name is Sam. So I added the user first. Under existing users, I will see this new user that I just added, right, for the test program. Next step I do is go and add an account, right? So let's say that this user has an account under, um, let's say, uh, IG. So let's say their account is under IG. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to create a new account. Um, log into trade account. Oh, sorry, create. So we just open an account let's create a demo account new and I accept blah 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 next okay so this is my new account this is where I save it it's a demo account so I select demo broker is IG um, initial deposit is hundred thousand so I hundred thousand and all I need is the investor password because when the users create accounts they're not going to share their master password in this case we know it because we created just for demo purposes but users that you will have will not be comfortable sharing their main password but they have to at least share their investor password then you enter the currency in this case is US dollars the most important thing is now we have to find the trade server and we have a incoming mail in our uh, channel that explains how to find the trade server but uh, let's quickly find that here it's usually saved in this file SRV file and Typically, it's embedded somewhere in like this, you know. Um, you have to find this again. Do watch this video. This is a video we have uh, which explains how to find the trade server for any account, even MT5. Um, so we copied the trade server, we save it here. Enter the chart suffix. So sometimes the charts have some sort of a suffix after them which is like either a small m or small u some of them have dot 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 i have seen many various 
um, variations. In this case, there are no suffix. It's just a pure currency pair, like Euro, Euro USD, GBP USD, and all that. So in this particular example, there is no suffix, so we leave it blank and then hit save. Now, as soon as this account is added, our software that runs in the background is going to um, start collecting the information. So as an admin who has added accounts, see this is the new account that just got added. <clears throat> right now the system is still not collected all the records. So we're going to give it some time. But essentially, what our software does is in the background, uh, we have a bunch of processes running. So we have some, uh, depending on how many number of accounts we have, um, the process can take anywhere from 20 seconds to 10 minutes to read the new account data. Uh, but essentially, that's the beauty of it, is you don't need anything special. All you need to do is just create an account and uh, the system will read the data. It still hasn't picked up the account, so we'll give it a few more seconds. Um, so uh, that's the setup. Uh, and program is nothing but you can add as many programs, you can have as many. So this is just a testing purposes. Like if you may be running a prop form that is FTMO type prop form. So you will give that name to the program. And what happens is it essentially shows up on the um, account for the user where the um, where the user is added under a specific program. As we can see, this particular user is added under test program. And this admin, test user one, has is running two programs. So as, as shown in this uh, diagram, you can have the software runs on the site. You can have one admin per program. So this admin is running test program one, this admin running, let's say, another program. And these admins can add the users under them. Now, admins can check any user's dashboard. Um, and they have essentially two ways right now. They can either give an EA to the user or they can set up a VPS and run our EA, which will be doing exactly the same thing, or they can use our new service to read the account um, data. So here we go. So we just got this back. Um, actually, we made a mistake. It's actually not a $100,000 account. It's actually a $10,000 account. So we made that mistake, uh, but that's fine. Uh, the graph is shown right now. There is no trades in here. So let's go ahead and do some uh, trading. Let's say AUD USD. I create a new order. I buy order 8776812.5 created in here. And again, uh, we have to give it some time. We are running um, processes such that um the account information is read less frequently so but we can increase that as to your liking we can read run additional servers run additional processes and it can be done faster so let's see if it has collected not yet the anyway so the idea was that this is where it shows like this is account for sam number 524303 last updated on this time and this is a part of test program so member of ftmo or member of my forex funds stuff like that right yeah so there you go so you got the first trade also now picked up this is the one we had created and this was created 331 server time um Server time right now is 3.32. Even though it says 10 here, the actual server time is 3.32. I can demonstrate that quickly. Yeah, see, as you can see, this is the hourly stick starting for 
a.m. So right now the time on the trade server is 3.32, which is what we see here. Um, let's go ahead and close this one. Uh, so we are going to take some loss, say 14 bucks. And in uh, about a minute's time, that should reflect here as well. In the meantime, let's um, go back and study the program a little bit more. So as it is explained on the site, fightforex.info slash fxreportsv4. Um, you can also come here and study the setup. Um, the basic functionality is nothing but to publish the training activity to the site. The rest of the structure is set up on top for you to be able to run any kind of program you want. I mean, some of the users uh, run just a purely analytics <coughs> kind of program. Some users try to run their own prop firm, back office, and stuff like that. Uh, so we close this. Let's see if it has updated. Not yet. <coughs> Yeah, it's still showing it's open. So that killed the background process a few more minutes. It was updated 3221, it's 34. So about a couple of months. Oh, there you go. So now the next update has come in. And as you can see, now we have taken a $14 loss and that is reflecting on the dashboard. Now quickly let's look at the um, interface for the user. Um, so you can log in as an admin or as a user. I think this user was 153 with the password welcome one that we had set up. And under existing accounts, we see the same account, it's an IG account, and of course we made a mistake of entering the wrong initial uh, balance, so it's showing the wrong value here. But this is the report um, that the user will see. So as you can see, the admins have many other options. Users have only like main and existing accounts. We can add other links here if you want to customize the software. Uh, depending on what you want to show. But this is the basic uh, functionality of the software that can read any trading history from any broker um, as long as you have the, at least the investor password and the server trade server address. So trade server is very easy to find. Uh, there's a separate video that you can use uh, which is also available on our site, how to find. As long as you have these in this information, you can run any kind of uh, back office program. Okay? Hope you find this useful and do subscribe, like us, and give us a, a holler or contact us on our site, fightforex.info, if you need to learn more about our software. Thank you.